female All right. albino. Just so everybody can know, I am just, I wasn't recording this. This is probably going to be in the next episode, but I want everybody to see Dua's albino springbok. Isn't she pretty? Very. Yes, she was. She, she was. <laughs> yeah, score of four, 458. Uh, and uh, the, it, the difficulty was very easy, so I didn't get a lot of XP for her, but... I have uh, not seen an albino animal in, in this game yet, so that was nice. Alright, gonna accept. There we go. There's another one. And it's down. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. <laughs> yep, we've gotten more springbok than one hunt than I've probably seen in the entire time I've played this savannah map. We just got very, very lucky as all. Well. Apparently. Let me go get the other one. Rifle score award plus 19. Yep. And if you... Uh, when you pick this one up, you'll be able to see at the bottom left corner of the screen, it'll show all our harvests that we've had up to this moment. So far, I got the biggest one, but... Son of a gun. You gotta be kidding oh, me. There's another one right on the other side of the tree there. I know. You wanna get him? Yeah, I think it is my turn. It is. Yeah, he's right where I can't get the heart lung shot on him. Mm. Shift to my position here. Let's say. Damn it. I wish you could. He's perfect. He stand perfectly still. There he goes. Oh, nope, nope. He's 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 struggling. He's he's down. Yeah. Yeah, I put it through both his shoulders. He should he should go down. Yeah, I was just gonna walk over here and then I saw that one and went, wait a minute, is that a different one? <laughs> Son of a gun. Hold on. <laughs> And there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. Yeah, well, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> I just dropped, a, dropped another one right here. Literally right behind the one I was coming to collect. And sometimes it's like that. It's, it's almost like they're bugged. Jeez. Oh, that one with a score of 807. That's a big old male. Nice. Nice, nice. <coughs> but it's good because this is getting us a bunch of uh, rifle score and a bunch of cash. So That we need. Yep. There we go. I think we took so out the whole Yeah, herd. You, you've got the largest one at 807. Dula, there's another one. Right over here. You see him? He's right next to that yep. little tree. Yeah, go ahead and take him. Oop. Like I say, sometimes they just... It seems almost like they're bugged. Well, it's in, in my review of the game. It says that sometimes you can literally just walk up and push them around. that easy. Really? <laughs> it's probably never happened again. 610, that one's not bad for a female at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reload quick here. Yeah, that was the only thing that worried me is I had had to reload. So. Alright, well let's make our way to rest of the way down to the camp so I can show you the camp stuff quick but like I say yeah the the graphics are gorgeous um, and as you can see the African animals look really good yeah they do um, I get a little aggravated with how slow we move all of that kind of stuff basically what we do is we walk up to the flag 
and it'll give you the option to activate the camp. So since this is your first time, you can do the honors. All right. There we go. Yep, E to claim. And we both are able to unlock the outpost. Oh, okay. And yeah, you'll get an XP reward for unlocking it. I think it's 100 if I remember. It was, yeah. And uh, once it unlocks the outpost, now, uh, there there is, of course, the building here. And um, you to open the door, you can actually sleep in the bed. Okay, that was weird. You didn't open but, the door, you just phased through it. <laughs> yeah, well... We, we each got kind of our own independent uh, manifestation going on here. It's yeah. kind of a little weird, but um, when you're playing the solo story part of this, you've got various points in time where you'll need to sleep. But um, over here is where the equipment stuff is. That's a little irritating. I can't close the door back. <laughs> so... He will allow you to access the cache, and um, okay, it gosh. has rifles and ammo of various sorts, and some of them are free, some of them are not. Some of them you have to have a certain score in rifle or shotgun or whatever to unlock them. Yeah. So in the rifle section, for instance, um, if we scroll down a bit, you'll see that the Ranger 243, which is what we're using, is there. The yeah. the Virant 22 Long Rifle Express is free. We can take out the 22 caliber immediately. Um, oh, that's cool. With with handguns, the the first handgun is the Focoso 357, which costs six thousand. Um, and for a sense of perspective. Um, I've earned fifty four ninety five from the animals that we bagged while we were hanging out. Yeah. Then there's the the shotguns and the Norden is one you can take out right away in Norden twenty gauge. Um, and there's a couple of others. Yeah, there's quite a few of them here. Yep, uh, and then under bows, um, you'll see that's where the crossbows are. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, that, yes. that you can get get crossbows immediately from the DLC that you don't actually have to earn a bunch of points. I've what? got the Huyi, and there's the Huyi recurve. Um, I've also got the DLC for the Bear Claw and uh, Razorback compound bows, but I don't think they were included in, in the, the stuff that I got you. Well, I'm going to go but, ahead and grab so, this uh, Warden crossbow here. Mm-hmm. And then um, under arrows, there's 300 grain small game bolts and 420 grain broadhead bolts, which is what you'd want. Uh, the, the, the 540 broadhead is an arrow, so okay. um, I believe there is a 600 grain broadhead bolt, yeah, all the way down at the bottom of the list. And you can see those you actually have to spend some of your uh, some of your your in-game money on. Right. Uh, but it's it is kind of cool that it's that it's got the judos. Um, they're the the small game arrows. But uh, so then under rifle sights, there's various scopes and and stuff available there's handgun sights shotgun sights and bow sights so there is a, a hawk and crossbow scope that you should be able to get without having to pay anything for yep i already got it <laughs> all right um if you go to down to the bottom of where of the stuff on the left side where it says garage you'll see the the atvs ah awesome yep so if you select any one of them and click request it'll say your vehicle has arrived and when you backspace out you'll turn around and look and your vehicle will be sitting here there it is 
you walk up E to enter. Oh, this is awesome. Just hold down W, it'll start up and start moving, and it's W, A, D, and S, and then you use your mouse to look around. Whoops, sorry. I'm faster than you. <laughs> I'll slow down a little bit. Is yours green or black? Mine is black. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, and so this this gets you around the map a whole lot faster, and they'll they'll skid and slalom and roll over and do all kinds of stuff. When you get up to the main road, take the right. Whoa, whoa, up whoa! Here. Okay, up here. Yep. S to S to break. There you go. And then we'll actually come out to the main road, and when you do, take a left. <coughs> Gotta follow all traffic laws. <laughs> yeah. things can book yeah they they get they're they're tuned so that they don't get too carried away but they'll they'll get up to around around 30 miles per hour and that's like I say that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do the bundle rather than just getting you the game because these are the ATVs are available on all the maps this is awesome and they'll, they'll get you around a whole lot faster. You can ride around, you can get a look at the territory. Um, and keep your eyes open for a, a road to, off to the right. Okay. Yeah, we just entered some new area. Yep. I'm slowing down so you can catch up. Yeah, you're about... Uh, 300 Whoa, up. there's a whole bunch of spring box. Yep, and that's why I wanted us to jump on these and just take a ride because we'll see some of the wildlife quick. I love the way this spins around because you can still take a look at them and still keep moving. Yep. Mubedwa. We are in the Mubedwa section. There we go. A little downhill stretch here. Pick up a little, a little speed here. Oh, whoa, 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 there it is. Alright, yep, it? there it is. Yep. Told you there's a reason why I don't usually play racing games. I'm <laughs> not that good at it. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I figured get us back into some of this outer country and, and just kind of get a quick look around. You know, you just let me know when, when you got to go, but I figured while well, you're on. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Try to show you why it is I like this map better than any of the others. Well, this is something I really wish they'd have put on the Hunter. Anyway, as an African man. Yeah, you know we've we've got we've got the jeeps now, but I it, I'd really like it if they give us the ATVs. As you can see, I've put enough enough time in to at least have some idea of some of the areas that are interesting. Um, what we're doing is we're making our way down to the river. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> and right down here Whoa. in the center of the curve, there's a trail. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> the heck? The yeah, hit a rock? A little minor, little minor defugalty there, Hawkeye. Just, just a bit. I guess I hit a rock or something. <laughs> Scared the heck out of me. 
<laughs> yeah, I thought I thought I was being attacked by a chimpanzee flying through the air. <laughs> um, the ATV didn't look too healthy. <laughs> now, as long as, as long as it runs to to get us down to the river. Are you smoking? <laughs> a little bit. Not sure what I hit, but yeah, you're you're throwing a little smoke. All right. Uh, somewhere right up ahead, I believe there should be a trail that runs off to the left here. Ah, yep, here it is right here. Now nah, we're going to do some Baja. Okay, there's something. going to take her a little easy through here. There's something else running around here with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting down into some pretty lively territory down here now. Like I say, you'll just wanna you wanna take her easy as we get down here. Whoa! What the hell? I almost ended up dumping on my head. I'm gonna have to look at the at that footage because I want to see what the hell it was that I hit. <laughs> yep. And we're just gonna putt putt through here. Oh, I see. It, and man. you just hold S until you come to a stop, and then E will make you dismount. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're smoking a little. I have no idea what it was that I hit. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But it, it flipped me good. <laughs> we can uh, come on in here, and uh, inside there's uh, information tab on the wall basically it just says the name of the location and if you click it you'll have to backspace to get out of it but it unlocks a little lore and uh, just just a little hut or you can or you can rest and and whatever but does it, it tells you when you need to rest is that basically the way it works uh, well basically when nighttime comes if you if you don't want a night hunt you can lay down in a bed and sleep through the morning oh, okay so it's made of mud Woven sticks and mud. Well, that door could close. <laughs> All right, what have we got here? We've got a scrub hair giving a warning thump. Yep, I, I, I was going to say. Oh, I'm scared, scrub hair. <laughs> yeah, you want to mind your P's and Q's around here. There's water buffalo and other stuff but I figured what we could do is we could just make our way down to the river so you can see the river quick now there's just a really really steep drop off so be careful yeah you want to watch yourself we'll have to go over to the left to, to make our way down but it's a pretty pretty awesome vista and actually we should be able to get down over here on the right side it's not quite as steep as a lot of other places. Yeah, that tumble looks like it affected my health a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you probably took a little bit of damage. So like I say, the single player campaign is actually pretty enjoyable. I might mess around it again. Will that affect my score here if I do something single player? Um, you know, I don't know how multiplayer and single player interact because this is the first time I've done any multiplayer in the game. Hmm. The reason I ask is if, you know, it gets your cash up and stuff, you can, I'll be, you know, be able to bring different weapons, whatnot, you know. But, yeah, the, the heat of the day is starting to starting to get active so you'll actually see the the heat wave when you look through your binoculars out in the distance that's cool yeah I see that Boy, it is quiet as can be down here though yeah I'm not seeing any animals we're, we're a little too late we missed them they've already drank and left not even a crocodile gator <laughs> Let's 
right down the river this way just a little bit. Down the hill here, you can see our the the trail is pretty easy to follow. Hold on. And if you just let it roll at its own pace, right in between the two trees here, and then we'll follow the trail out left again. Yeah. What kind of tracks are these all over the place? <laughs> Probably could have. And if you utterly and completely uh, massacre your ATV, you can always get a fresh one back at camp. So, all right, we'll <coughs> take the left here. All right. Hey, there, little bunny rabbit. Ran across the road in front of us. <laughs> of course, we're scaring everything in the neighborhood. What I'm hoping is we'll get a buffalo charges <laughs> now as well as uh, tracks and sounds you'll see like patches of grass and basically what they are is their feeding areas oh okay so the highlighted patch of grass or water those are need areas is what they refer to them as I see and animals of course come back to need areas In fact, there's a lot of neat areas through here. They're all probably for the hares. Yeah, I'm seeing all kinds of them. Here we go. We got a, a little cairn that acts as a marker here. walk up and inspect it it'll give you an entrance in your uh, codex and usually it'll give you some sort of, of information about local flora fauna something like that so this is talking about fever trees fever trees huh mm-hmm hmm. yeah Muelele, um, used by the sangomas the izangoma are the the traditional healers in South Africa but that just leveled me up, so it might level you up, too. I think it did. No, I'm still level two. But, uh, I'm not sure how close I am. Probably just... Probably awful close. We both, we both took a fair number of animals. But, so, going around and, and, you know, come across something like this on Lockkit, you'll get a few experience points, and little bit of information added to your codex and it can it can be worth it. it it adds up over time so right <laughs> see if we got anything going on out there looks kind of quiet yeah your well. ATV's got some kind of condition <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and uh, go just a little bit farther up the road here. Let's just take our time and kind of put along for, for a moment. All right. Keep your eyes peeled, and we may may spot some interesting animals as as they run. But we're almost to the next location I wanted us to reach here, so which is 
why I wanted to come this way. Uh huh. Yeah, is there a structure up there? I see something. Yep. Yep, this is another one of the camp locations. Okay. All about running me over, aren't you? Whoop. <laughs> you are out of control, son. I know. But again, we just come up to the flagpole and activate it. We'll get a little bit of XP. And this is actually this is a good camp to to have unlocked because um, Warthog, Cape Buffalo, and Lesser Kudu. This is a this is a good spot to base out of for them. Oh, cool. But now if you pop open your map, you can see that what we've done is we've gone south and west right. following the river along. Yep. You see kind of the fog of war effect there, you know, as we've as we've uncovered stuff. Yeah. Now you'll notice that a ways back the road there was a road that went off to the right and it goes up to a lake up there. A little yeah. a little pond. That's that's a really good spot for Cape Buffalo. Okay. Really a good spot. Oh, cool. Yeah. And we get past one of the uh, observation towers as well. You can see a little little uh, binocular icon there. Yeah, over to the yeah, I see yeah. it. So now we're down down in Buja. We started out in in Jonga and now we're down in Buja. Um this map's and huge. the the Buja region is it's narrow and wide. And it runs all along the entire face of the river. Mm. So, but it's one huge map. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's real good sized, and like I say, I'm I'm really pleased with it. It really does have the right kind of feeling to it for the region it's supposed to represent, and um, I've definitely enjoyed hunting it. For for me, it's it's really redeemed the game for me because hunting the other maps, I, I really haven't enjoyed it with all the interruptions and stuff from Doc and all of that. But oh yeah. If we were inclined, we could probably find a Cape Buffalo. Oh, that makes sense. I was just gonna look over here real quick because it looks like you can look down towards the river there or something. Yeah. Yeah, that goes into a, a low pan, um, and uh, oh, wait now, I see something. What is that? Water buffalo. I think that's what it is. Yep. You got eyes on one. You want to give him a go before you go? Oof, all right. So straight down the hill from you, straight yeah. down the hill from you, crossing to the left. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Cape Buffalo. Yeah, I see him. And he's him. gonna walk right out into the open. You you'd have a, a heck of a shot on him. Let me get crouched down, maybe I can get a better Yep. He's just yeah, he's stepping out in the open now. Oh boy, quit wavering, quit wavering. Ah, I think I missed. Ah, I've got to find out how to hold your breath. <laughs> yeah. Because I just plain don't recall. It's not left control. I don't think... Well, it might be alt. No. Shouldn't be left shift. Yeah, actually. So left shift... When you're when you're aiming, will make you hold your breath. Yeah, I just you'll, heard heard myself. Yep, do you'll it. hear your breath, and and you'll see your your heart rate start to increase over time. Oh well. Yeah. Yep. Well, now now we know. Yep. But I did get to see one. 
You got lucky. <laughs> and you can zoom with your scope, with your little mouse wheel. I'm sure you figured that out. Yeah, yeah. I don't see any down there. But, yeah, at least you got eyes on one. Yeah. I don't know if that counts for anything, but... Um, well, when you, when you uh, spot them, you can uh, hold E to spot them just... You know, just like in, in the Hunter class, you can spot animals and it raises your spotting skill. Get a little experience for it. Yeah, no, no, the tree line there. But uh, there you go. So we at least got our feet wet. Yep, yep. I mean, if you'd rather, if next time you'd rather try one of the other maps, we can certainly do that. Oh, no, but no. But every time we start a fresh map, I do believe we also restart at level one. I don't know. Now, I don't know if it might save our multiplayer progress and a single player progress. I just plain don't know. I haven't played the game enough to know. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do later on. Uh, tomorrow sometime I'll jump in single player, see if my, you know, if I'm still level two, whatnot. Yep. Yeah, and when you when you first enter the game, it'll ask you to choose which reserve you want to go to, and this is this is Varanga. Varanga. Okay. Yep. 